let's add an ob. I will just copy it from the article. Here we go. We add two knobs. This is the number of inputs we need. Okay, they change their values from 0 to 100%. We can set the minimum and maximum value, but we'll do it later. Right now, let's just try to multiply it now, not by the fixed value, but by the value of our knob. Why do we have two knobs? Let's make one knob for now. Okay, first knob will be in the array index 0, okay? Let's refresh it. We have one knob. Let's try changing gain. Okay. You see, we can make it absolutely go away or increase. That's great. Okay, let's give a name to our knob array string input parameters names and we write name for each knob that we have. For example, if we have two knobs, we could have it like this gain, and this we'll call mix, for example. Let's see if it works. Okay. We can also set their maximum and minimum values. Zero for both knobs, and maximum values will have two for gain so we can increase gain as well and for mix we have 100 percent let's save and see if i'm okay yeah now the gain is changing from zero to two so we can even go louder probably it will clip and the mix knob is unused. We can also set the default value. For the gain knob, the default value will be 1. For the mix knob, it will be 100%. If we right click on the knob, it will get to the default value. Okay, what we want to do probably is to change gain not in absolute values, but in decibels. Let's give this knob a unit. We will use decibels for the gain and we will use percent for the mix. Let's see if it works. No. Units. I have to write. No? What am I doing wrong? Oh, this should be a string. Okay. Now it's in decibels. It's in percents. And what else we have to do? Probably change the gain from minus 20 to 20 decibels and by default let it be zero. Now it's in decibels but we can't just multiply our sample values and by decibels. We have to convert decibels into the absolute values from 0 to 1 or bigger if we want to increase. For that we can use a special formula that converts gain from decibels to absolute values and if we just copy it like this we can copy the whole function as well. Okay, we have in the article an example for two knobs, let's use just one knob here. The gain is 10 power value in decibels divided by 20. Okay, we'll keep our gain value here. And this function that we have just introduced, update input parameters, is a function that is called when, for example, we can change a parameter by turning a knob or we can write an automation for this parameter if any of these conditions is happening this function is called and when we use the process sample function because there is another function to process blocks which is more powerful but this one is more easy to use so when we use this process sample function update input parameters is called before every sample so if we turn the knob the values, intermediate values, will be recalculated for every sample and here we will multiply now not by the input parameter itself but by the gain we have just calculated. By the way, we can use print for debugging. Let's write gain db to see what we receive from our input parameter. Let's play some audio. Wow, this is loud. You see we have in decibels minus 3.2 and in absolute values this is 
this value that we are multiplying our samples by. If we have plus 2.4 decibels, the gain is this. Okay, we have to remove this print function to avoid really big logs. So we have just made our first script that changes the gain. Do we need the mix knob here? No, it's just for demo purposes. We can have one and put parameters and this knob will be gone, though we have mentioned its names here. Okay, hopefully this makes sense. There is a lot more here that you can try to uh, customize the colors, the knobs, the look of the skin. Here you can change, for example, different knobs. We can do a lot more in plugin script than this, but these are the basics that you have to understand. If you want, you can change the GUI as well, but the good thing is that you can just write a simple script, add a few input parameters, and this GUI is automatically created. For example, you create five parameters, you don't need to do anything for the GUI at all. You can just choose how to display them, what knobs to use, etc. If you want, you can customize how it looks, but we will talk about it in future videos and if you're satisfied with what your script is doing you can click export and enter the required parameters and export your script as a standalone plugin that you can use anywhere in any DAW. This is absolutely amazing. Your plugin will work on Mac as well. AngelScript is compiled on the fly and when you load it on Mac it will be compiled on the fly and work without any issues. So hopefully this short introduction to plugin script gives you a basic overview of the simplest way to write a audio fix here. If you need MIDI processing you will have to use another function, process block, but process sample is much simpler. And as you see there are many many scripts you can try and learn from. They are just amazing. Let's look at this for example a level meter. No, this is not the one I want to show you. There is envelope. Yeah. You see the level of your signal. You can click here, see how it is all done, how it is calculated, what is it using. There are some more functions that uh, we'll hopefully cover in future videos. You can also go to the plugin script tutorial site pns.letimix.com there is an introduction to plugin script there are some tutorials how basically plugins work what are the advantages and disadvantages of using plugin script etc what can you do with it uh, and the basic uh, tutorial that we have just covered how to use load and save scripts write a simple game plugin uh, there are also a few articles already, we've just started this site. How to make a low-cut filter, how to organize your plugins conveniently, and the DSP that we are using, the DSP API. Let me stop the music for now. You can, by the way, access the manual from the plugin itself. If you click here, menu, user manual, you will get this manual that I suppose you'll read one day. This is very good to understand the basics. Uh, this explains everything very well. On the site we'll try to make a nice interface to quickly see examples how to use these functions, what they can do, what variables you can use inside. So you're welcome to learn from the site as well. There's been a lot of information for the quick start. I hope you'll be inspired by this plugin and its possibilities. There is a lot to learn, especially considering the GUI, how to make it. There is a custom skin uh, that I hope you'll like, but we will talk about uh, all this stuff later. For now, this is all. Have a good time. 
Till next time, bye bye.